On the former French budget minister, Jérôme Caouzac, has been sentenced to three years in prison and barred from, for, for five years from holding any kind of political office. Uh, the judge said that only a custodial jail sentence would be enough in this case because it was uh, so exceptional, so rare and so serious. Uh, Jérôme Caouzac, the former budget minister who was in charge of cutting down on tax evasion, was himself found guilty just a short time ago of money laundering, of tax fraud, of hiding over a period of more than 20 years, a sum of around three and a half million euros in offshore bank accounts, of hiding that huge sum from French tax authorities. The judge also found that he continued to hide uh, this fraud while he was appointed, while he was in office as France's budget minister in 2012, 2013. He said that this was an exceptional case, so serious, so rare, that it had caused political damage in France. It had caused damage to the trust in politicians. And that's why he had no choice but to sentence the former minister to uh, three years behind bars. Catherine, indeed, this is a very serious sentence in a country where many politicians in the past who have been accused of corruption have actually gotten suspended prison sentences, not a firm one like this one. Does Jerome Kauzak have any recourse? Can he appeal? Jerome Kauzak can now appeal, and we imagine that he will be doing so. But the verdict was so definitive today. On every point the judge read out, he said that uh, there was no possible other, in, other possible interpretation of the facts that Joan Karuzak himself admitted uh, in the end, after lying about it for uh, many months, uh, that, this, that he'd hidden uh, money in offshore accounts in Switzerland, in Singapore, uh, that had been transferred to Panama, in the Isle of Man off the UK, that the facts were so clear there could be no other interpretation of it. So it remains to be seen how successful an appeal would be. But even going into the courthouse today, uh, many people who'd come to listen in the public gallery or other journalists were doubtful whether the budget minister would actually be sent to prison, whether or not he'd be handed a suspended prison sentence. It's true that in the past, politicians convicted or on trial for corruption offences have more or less, most of them, managed to get away with it. And corruption is seen as a problem in uh, French political life. A lot of people very fed up with the political class. So the fact that a former minister has been actually sentenced to serve time behind bars not with a suspended sentence. It's going to be very symbolic. Uh, and it's, it's three years behind bars. In other countries, we could have perhaps expected a heavier sentence. But for French politics, for the French justice system, this is a big moment.